let's just face it, the young and the restless simply would not be the same without the ongoing feud between the show's two longest running characters, Catherine <laughs> Chancellor and Jill Foster Abbott. They <laughs> have battled over men and money and children and even a house. And now they have set the record for the longest running rivalry in daytime history. Take a look at this. I will <laughs> talk to you about anything I damn well please. Now I'm telling you right now, are you going to tell me what you are up to? Why do I have to get kick you out of you? You have been you have been Ladies, ladies, ladies. Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. Stop, ladies, come on, hold it. Hold it. What the hell are you doing, Jill? Jill! Yes. She's the one that started it. <laughs> Please welcome Jess Walton and Jean Cooper. Oh, ladies. Ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> See, everybody blames Jill. We start right off with that. It's always Jill's fault. And this because is St. Catherine here. <laughs> well, you know, in the early days, we each had our fans. I wasn't playing the part then, but they used to have Jill's people and Catherine's people with placards in the park. Outside the lot. studio. Oh, oh yeah. It was, I'm serious. Oh, absolutely. It really was, it really was like the, the reality television today. It was like, uh, to me, soaps are well-written reality. Yes, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and I've said large. But you guys, how you by the way, you, you said something, you likened yourself your characters to Looney Tunes. It was the Roadrunner. Roadrunner and Kyle. Oh, and the Kyle. characters from because the Because Jill keeps getting anvils dropped on her head. I mean, because <laughs> she gets these schemes and she gets all excited and she brags to the whole town she's marrying Victor Newman. And then he breaks up with her on the day that he's supposed to be proposing. And so she gets smashed again. When, uh, when she first came, when so, she... So, wait, oh, you're talking, so you're talking about the Roadrunner and the... And well, this Wiley is Coyote. Coyote. And the, who, she's, she's Wiley Coyote. I was... <laughs> oh, I no, was, she's the Roadrunner and I'm Wiley Coyote. Right, I tried to explain to her one day she was being obstinate about doing something. <laughs> you tell her something that's going to be right for her and she fights it. I said, face it. You are the character that's running around. You plan to blow me up. And by the time you light the fuse, I've passed you and you blow yourself up. I know, and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Can you imagine how it feels to play a character for 28 years who is so dumb <laughs> that she keeps getting anvils dropped on her head all the time? Is that like tough? this one, it's very tough. Is but it? I know that, but you get to go to the bank every week. Well, that's true. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. Do you know, the two of you have been referred to as the show's super couple. You know that, right? I mean, how does that make you feel? Because, you know, how do you, how do you take a relationship? Because I'm telling you, you're smart women because to take that kind of rivalry and turn it into such a a lovable a rivalry, yeah. yeah. How do you do that? Or we were talking earlier. We used to our set was last up in the day, so we had hours back in the days when we used to sit there and smoke and do our lines. <laughs> and we just for hours we'd plan the lines and the comedy and the whole thing. And uh, I think that's one of the things that built the basis for it. We had we would also go out thinking. Remember this? We said this to ourselves. It's no different than you have your audience here, Marie. We would say, what can we do in the confines of the show that makes it real right. and keeps it within the show? What would the audience like to see? Mm -hmm. That's so smart. Mm -hmm. What would the audience so like smart. to see? But not only that, these were two actors setting each other up. Yes. We would set each other up for our punchlines and our jokes. Do you know what I mean? It, yes. it wasn't a selfish thing out for me. No, it was no. like both. You can of us. see that in the in because when you said keep it real, I believe your fights. They were fabulous. Oh, I know. We yeah, we, we had such fun. <laughs> we have uh, we have uh, a scene of where we both get into it. We're rolling over couches and down on yeah. stairs, and she almost chokes me to death. Yeah. And she chokes but, you to look, death. We had stunt doubles, <laughs> and I. I didn't like what my stunt double was and doing. I didn't I like got, what well, mine. just a minute. Okay. I did mine. Too. Can I? Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. We didn't either of us like what our stunt double right. was doing. Right. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you wait until I said, I'm doing mine. <laughs> and I did mine with her stunt I've had double. I've this for 28 years. It's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. And I was doing, 
the stunts with her stunt double, and she said, my stunt double isn't that good. I can do that better. <laughs> and we could have killed each other. We're rolling on couches, rolling over, and not, you know. This was just a few years ago. And we're <laughs> rolling over on a couch, both of us. Like this couch here? You, so you we said, go yourself? away. We'll yeah. do it ourselves. We were on a couch this yeah. size, and it on the over. floor, down steps, into the cell. And I was strangling her on the I bed. was going to. She's tough. She's so tough. I always go into these things saying I have to be really careful of her, and she beats the, you know, what out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. That's awesome. Okay, so I, I've been, we, we're doing these Facebook questions. I'm really quickly, I, I just want, I, okay, this one, this one's for, for Jeannie. Okay, this is from uh, Laurie S. She says, did you like playing Catherine's lookalike, um, Marge? Marge. And oh. how did you feel about them killing her off? Well, I actually, if I'd had the liberty, I would have killed off the writers. Because <laughs> Marge lives. She does. She, she's, she's, Marge is iconic. It's the second time she came back. Yep. Why? Yeah. See? See? There you go. I mean, she has a right to live. You have one of the greatest lines coming up in the show this afternoon. You haven't read it, have it? Aha. Uh -huh. I haven't read oh, it. Wow. She accuses me of not having so, read it. So there's something script. coming up in the show that's fantastic. This afternoon. Really, when you go back oh, and watch I can't it. wait to right. read it. Yep. This one is for you, Jess. Okay, this is from Scott T. Jill, okay, has been in, she's been such a man eater. Mm -hmm. That's what they say, okay. Uh, who has been your favorite love interest for her? Hands down, Tristan Rogers. Really? Hands down, Colin and Jill, yeah. Wow. Head and shoulders above everyone. And else. all of the men that I was married to. That's true. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for being here today. So sad. There would not be a celebration without you two. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah.